Yo, what the fuck's up, you guys? Um, should focus more on this than me this time. Um, well, we all know that this little chord is C, and I'm sorry I'm left-handed because you're you'll get a reversed image. But anyway, it's like this. <laughs> to C major and everybody knows that chord shape everybody and her grandma knows that one however if you s s slide this two frets up this little shape what you get is this and it's this little thing that I'm sure some of you guys know but when I found out about this it blew my fucking mind I gotta clean this shit later. There's like some cake on the motherfucking table. But regardless, in terms of arpeggios, this thing sounds really fucking cool. Wait, hold on. And it's a weird chord shape because it has a. It has a seventh and has a second major, well, a minor seventh and a major second. So it's kind of like a dominant thing. Yeah, it doesn't have a fifth, which you might think is improper, but I've seen some jazz chords without a fifth, so I guess it can work. But what you can do with this is that if you want to add another sort of implied major chord you can put it like right here I guess and then you get something else but that shape with this finger uh, on the A strings 10th fret same shape though so like I could try to put some tablature but nah too fucking lazy or if you don't want to do this, what you can do is you can replace that with this. And it's not completely consonant, there's a little bit of a semitone thing, but it doesn't have a big clash in it. little clash, the little dissonance, it's not like a huge problem. You can even block it out like this. And the problem solved. Um, just putting shit to perspective. Um, other shapes that work with this, um, the G shape. I mean, you can... I mean, I'm trying to do this major shape, so anything with a uh, Ionian pattern, this one four five thing, or a even a Lydian pattern, which is a four five one, this one two thing, one two five. Or you can try a mixed Lydian pattern. If you want to do all major chords that way, and if you're really creative and shit, then maybe you would try to branch out from that, like. minor shapes are a little bit barred you can do all sorts of tricks so I 
guess you can say I'm just trying to do all sorts of unorthodox shit, but since it doesn't violate any musical rules, just little limitations that we place on ourselves when we don't know a lot, a lot of theory, like how we were taught that one for five, that's basically the rule, the circle of fifths, and you don't violate the circle of fifths, but nobody wants to do this all the time. Or then we learn over time the relative majors and minors, so it's like... That shit gets um, really repetitive over time. Because it's only going to get as complex as this. That's it. Five chords for your ass. And. We want to be able to learn more theory, not to limit ourselves, but to break free from little rules we place on ourselves and we're taught so that we can be more consonant. That's why when a lot of people say theory is bullshit, what they're actually saying is that it's not the end of all be all. Because a lot of these guys that don't practice theory, with their intuition, they can think up these crazy little things. Like, for example, this guy... We all know the A minor chord and that shape. Take out this finger. Get that mysterious sound from a A sus two chord, which is by the way really badass and you can apply all these little tricks and once you learn the modes you can understand that you don't have to do a one four five. Maybe you can do a Instead of one four five, uh, one minor second minor third thing, which is like this. I mean, the way I did that was a little unorthodox, but you could also do it a little bit more proper. There's a lot of little tricks you can master and shit like that. I'm not naked under this. Don't worry. I want this video to get flat and shit. Here's my green shorts. Regardless. I mean. I don't really have a large plethora of skills and chords. I know about 21 little skills. Ones I can remember. I gotta go back and learn the. Uh, the six note scales and shit like that and how to apply that to shit but after a while it becomes redundant you gotta learn little rules to branch out and shit point is what's the point I'm trying to create here I mean, I'm not a guitar expert, I'm not even good. I've only been playing guitar for about three years, and what I gotta say is, there's people out there that they're like, they get this anxiety that they learned everything they could on guitar or piano, or whatever instrument they play, which is, by the way, crap. It's a crap idea. I mean, it. that's... Part of the reason why we should never assume we're good musicians. Never be satisfied with anything you do when you play an instrument. Because, uh, well, for starters, you're not really fucking the master of guitar or shit like that. You didn't master everything. Like, before my first year of guitar, like, six months... Less than six months into it, I thought I mastered a fucking instrument. I didn't even know how to do a chord like this. That was beyond me. Or... I couldn't do any chord like that. All I knew was basically power chords.
In fact, I thought I was being very innovative because I put an octave in my power chord, which, as it turns out, everybody else does anyway. I've never seen people play power chords like this. So you gotta get this um, narcissistic, suicidal mindset out that you retired because you mastered music and shit. It's, I mean, I understand that I was like 14 at the time, so like, 14 year olds always think they're fucking smart for no fucking reason. It's like, it's built into the 14 year old mentality, and I have friends that still have a 14 year old mentality that they're enlightened and shit. This enlightenment bullshit, which is ridiculous as hell. I'm very infantile. But it's also at the same time very desirable because it represents youth and people that are immature kind of represent that youth side of you, that side of you that passed away. I mean, still I have my fucking ego and my ego is just a rationalization of how I'm awesome. It's hard to get rid of the fucking ego. You create, the ego is sort of passed on to you. And you have to, like, try to find a way to kill it, but it keeps coming back. Like, the big way the ego comes back is you make fun of other people for their egos. Which is, ironically, you showing that you have an ego. You're trying to give a rationalization on why you're awesome. Instead of just knowing the fact that you're awesome. I mean, everybody's awesome. They have to kind of realize that on their own. And that's sort of what I realized on music. Because I know a lot of other people that are guitarists. Playing even with less experience than me, and they're doing pretty fucking cool shit. It's kind of the way it works. Um, what else? I wish I could make this a fucking 35 minute video. I mean, one thing I need to really get good at is. Putting these chords to use, like... I, mean, I can do it sometimes, but... Imagine playing a heavy metal song with, like, these kind of chords. Um, you gotta, like... Trying to find words to say here. I guess it's in, time's done. It's time to stop being preachy and shit. I gotta end this video. But there's a lot of weird shit you can do on guitar. Like that's what I'm trying to get to. I know people that have. Thought they mastered guitar and I like, or even any instrument, and then I do something crazy, or and they're like, wow, what the hell is that? Or maybe I thought I mastered everything, even though I had like less than two years' experience and couldn't do this. And then I saw some guy in the street and he was doing some crazy shit, and he knows no theory, so he basically, with his intuition, managed to break the bonds that were taught. So that we can do things right with limited knowledge. Because that's kind of what how we set bonds to ourselves. Sometimes we set vital limitations to ourselves. Because what we when we don't have knowledge, it might be tricky. We might do something that's ugly. But people who have a really good intuition or how even an average intuition can find things that are nice to, to use. You just gotta learn a little bit of both. It's complex, but it's good that it's complex because it keeps us busy, it keeps us from being satisfied, and it keeps us doing our very best. Alright, this is another Mr. Wonka 7 video, and peace the fuck out.